Hey there, Scott with Seaman Custom Builds. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to walk through a comparison of the Festool CT15 and an ordinary shop vac and whether a hobbyist woodworker needs to invest the extra money in this guy or is this enough? So here's my breakdown. First, I've been using the rigid 14 gallon shop vac for a while and I've also added the filter pal pre-filter so that helps um, mainly keep the filter clean longer it doesn't filter any higher particle um, this is about a hundred bucks sometimes they're on sale around the holidays black friday the kind you might get them a little cheaper and came with a hose accessory kit um, for cleaning the car that kind of stuff um, festool ct15 fairly new on the market um, it's their least expensive model at $350. Um, I think if you're talking the five six hundred dollar model versus this it's really hard to justify. Now at $350 we're getting close that some features might sway you the other direction. Um, capacity like I said this is a 14 gallon they they range from like 9 to 20 something like that. Um, this is 3.96 gallons roughly four gallons, 15 liters, that's the 15. Um, remember, we're talking a European manufacturer, so um, much more capacity, but for like sanding operations, you're not gonna be filling that bag up as quickly as if you're hooked up to uh, a table saw or something. And that, we should be using a dust collector, not a vacuum. Um, like I said, oh, one other thing to point out when we talk about accessories. So Rigid comes with this hose, a rigid hose um, it's not easy to connect that like to your sander so i bought the um, rockler dust right um, expanding hose with the small port attachments I, I really like that hose it works well but that is an added i think it's about 40 bucks 30 or 40 bucks so that's an added cost to use it with small things like your orbital sander um, whereas the festool hose will connect to just about everything without any extra connectors. And uh, very flexible and lightweight, easy to use. Both come with accessories. The Festool has um, two nozzle kits, same thing, clean your car, maybe something in the house. Not worried about that. Warranty. Rigid, Home Depot, really good. Lifetime warranty against manufacturer defects. And if, they're, if they know you at Home Depot, they're pretty flexible with their warranty from what I've seen. Festool, three years. So not as long. Um, in my opinion, if a tool will last for three years, it's going to last a while. Um, usually your abnormal breakage happens much earlier in its life. Horsepower rating, um, according to Rigid, six horsepower peak. It doesn't run at six. Um, I could not find any reference from Festo on what the horsepower is, but it really doesn't matter. We're not running a major table saw or tool. Um, the thing we want to know is CFM. How much air is it moving? Festo cl claims 130, and that's pretty much across all their extractors. Um, Rigid claims 165. I'm not a scientist. I don't have a way to test it. I will say using this one for like two years now, having this one for a couple weeks, they both do an adequate job sucking air exactly like you want it out of a track saw, out of your orbital sanders, those types of deals. Um, one thing the Festool has is variable speed, and as you adjust that speed, the noise level is also adjusted. So I've played around some with my sander. I don't have to have on the highest level to still collect most of the dust when I'm sanding versus the rigid it's on full blast all the time so that brings us to the noise rigid 89 decibels when it's running the festool 80 decibels that may not seem like a lot and this was tested in my shop um, using a app on my phone so it's not manufactured it's what I've actually experienced um, but again, using it with a small like orbital sander, the sander is probably going to be louder than either collector anyways. But it does add to the level of noise in your shop. 
And so here's the one of the big things for me. The Festool has a HEPA filter. We're going to get more of the fine dust. My shop garage is connected to the house. I try my best to keep the dust down and out of the house. Um, we all know there is health issues related to that. So the more you can collect at the source, the better. So the finer particles, definitely a plus here. No HEPA here. Um, Rigid does sell a higher end filter for 25 bucks, I think it is, um, but not HEPA rated. Um, another feature I like the Festool has is auto start. You can plug your tool into the front. When you turn it on, it turns the vac on. When you turn it off, it runs a few seconds to clear the hose and then turns off. I really like this, especially with my tracks all breaking down. Uh, sheet goods, I'm not constantly turning around, starting and stopping, or sanding lots of small parts where you might sand, set it down, sand, set it down. Um, I like that feature. Is it worth the extra money? Um, maybe, maybe not. You have to decide that. Um, filter. So now we're talking about your prices. The rigid replacement filter is about 16, 17 bucks. And like I said, they have a, a little higher filtration filter. It's about 25 bucks. Little HEPA filter here. That guy's about $70. So a little more pricey. Hopefully won't be replacing that too many times. The bag, this one I was a little surprised. Obviously you can run it without a bag um, in the rigid. But if you choose to do the bag so you don't have to mess with all the emptying and recirculate the dust you already collected, it's about eight bucks, seven, eight bucks. The Festool, same. I thought it would be way higher. Same cost. Um, obviously you're gonna fill it up sooner than you're gonna fill up this one. But again, if you're using it for small tools, you shouldn't be collecting and filling it up that quickly. Um, another nice feature both of them have is the option for using it with wet. So sucking up a mess, spill, whatever. Um, the Festool, you take out the bag, you put in a foam filter for wet use. Um, rigid, also you need to replace the filter for that. Both of them about the same cost for their wet use filters. So kind of a wash on that. Um, blower ports. So both units have a blower port. Rigid's here on the back. Best Tools is here on the side. So again, pretty good comparison there. As a wrap up is 350 versus 100 ish, give or take, if you buy the dust right hose. Um, is it worth it? For me and my small shop, I decided I finally, it was finally worth the money. $600, not. $350 was just double. It's slightly smaller footprint, slightly quieter, filters better. Um, auto start, I liked. So hopefully, this gives you some idea of the comparison from somebody that's used both in a small hobby shop. So hope this helps. And remember, don't just build, create. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for new video notifications, like, comment, and share. There's also a link below to any tools or products used during this video.